as in the previous video we learned about the installation of nmap so in this video we are going to learn and understand the basic commands of the nmap and how to use it to obtain the information regarding a target and what are the vulnerabilities and what are the possible ways to attack and exploit the system so here we need to use the simple commands for the nmap so as the operating system i'm i'm using here it is as a kali linux operating system so for this you just need to open a command prompt so to open a command prompt just click on start button and type here cmd and again we need to open parallelly the y shark so again just click on the start button and type y shark so just click on this y shark so here are the packages that are captured uh, from my network interface so to give an nmap command so here in this uh, video we are going to discuss about the tcp connect so as the tcp connector will uh, scan uh, and establishes a three way handshake so as the full connection will happen so if the port is listening connect scan will succeed otherwise the port is not reachable so as the nmap command user for the tcp connect scan is for this we need to give into the command prompt just click on start button then type here to open the cmd command then click on command prompt so here we need to give the command of the nmap for the tcp connect scan so for this nmap hyphen s and capital t as the s stands for scan and t stands for tcp connect scan so give your target ip address that is of 192.168.43.102 so here is the ip address that is hyphen p of port 80 comma 135 so here i mentioned the two specific ports so that the scan will take less time and it gives a reliable information as a tcp connect scan takes more time than the scene scan and accent but it gives a reliable information so just click on enter so here are the packets that were captured during the nmap command so let us see in a detail where the explanation of the nmap command and what the backend is going so here the scene packet that was sent to the ip address of target that is 102 that is of port number 135 and again the scene packet that was also sent to the 80 port number that is of a target IP address of 192.168.43.102 and next you can see that reply from 17 that is my base machine IP address that is of 43.17 and uh, the reply from the client that is of sin plus ACK so sin ACK packets were sent to the 135 port and again next uh, here the ACK packet that was sent to the target machine that is of 192.168.43.102 so here you can see that the TCP entire TCP 3-way handshake is established in 135 port number that is sin SYNAC and ACK whereas in 80 port number it is showing that only SYN and finally we obtain the reset and ACK flag so this indicates that the port is closed whereas in 135 port as the port is open so three way handshake is formed so by this the backend of the nmap command is explained in a detailed way by capturing the packets from the network analyzer tool